So in this video, we're going to talk about probability. And probability is a measure of likelihood, meaning how likely is something going to happen or how likely is something uh, true. And probability is usually uh, expressed as a number between 0 and 1, or equivalently 0% uh, and 100% where zero or zero percent means that something is definitely not true or definitely not going to happen and at the other extreme one or a hundred percent is definitely true or definitely going to happen and then the things that we're not sure about well that's here in the middle with things being closer to true having higher numbers and things being closer to not true having lower numbers you already have an intuitive feel for this, like when the weatherman says it's a 75% chance of rain. You know that it's not for sure going to rain, but it probably will. You're taking your umbrella. Now, probability is in itself a, a field of mathematics, uh, but we're not going to go into all those details. We're going to just go over basic probability here. So let's take, for instance, a coin flip. When you flip a coin, there's really only two possible outcomes, heads or tails. So what we would ask in this case is if we flipped a coin, what is the probability that the coin would land heads? So probability is expressed in the outcome we're looking for over all possible outcomes. So in this case, there's really only one way a coin flip can become heads. It's this way. And all possible outcomes are two heads and tails. So the probability that our coin flip would land heads is 0.5 or 50%. So let's take another example of rolling a die. Now how many possible outcomes are there? Well, there's six. You can get a one, two, three, four, five, or six. So now let's look at the probability of rolling a three. So again, we look at the outcome that we want, and there's only one way to roll a 3. It's 3, right? So that's 1 over all possible outcomes. And we said that there were 6, and so we divide that by 6. And so the probability of rolling a 3 is uh, 0 0.1666, and those 6s keep repeating, or you could round it up just to 17%. So let's try another one. So now let's say, what is the probability of ro rolling an even number? Well, how many ways are there for us to do that? Well, we can roll a 2, we can roll a 4, or we can roll a 6. So there are three different ways to do that. Out of how many possible outcomes? We already said there were 6. So out of 6 outcomes, and so that comes out to be 0 0.5 or 50%. So again, remember what we do is we put in the numerator the number, of out, the, the number of ways we can get the outcome we want, and in the denominator we put all possible outcomes. Let's try another one. Okay, let's say that we're going to flip a coin four times, and we want to ask, uh, what is the probability of getting three heads? Well, it might help to see all the possibilities first. So here are all the possibilities, if you flipped a coin four times, that you could get. So the T obviously stands for tails, and the H for heads. So here you have four tails in a row, then you have tail, 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 heads, then tail, tail, heads, tails, and so on. So how many ways can we get three heads? So there are four ways to get three heads over a total of 16 different possibilities that we could get. So we have 4 divided by 16, and that equals 0 0.25 or 25%. So that means that uh, about a, if you were to flip a coin four times, about a quarter of the time you're going to get three heads. So probability is the number of ways you can get the outcome you're looking for over all the possible outcomes. 
and in statistics, biostatistics, and medicine, you're going to see probability a lot. So it's, it's very important that you get an intuitive understanding for what this is. Next, we're going to look at odds. See you in the next video.